Are you ready to have your mind blown? Here you go. Hydrogen has long been considered a promising alternative to fossil fuels, dating back to the 1960s when General Motors first developed its hydrogen-powered vehicle. However, the high expenses and difficulties associated with hydrogen technology have hindered past efforts to establish new economies focused on this alternative fuel. Previous attempts were frequently motivated by oil price spikes or shortages, as well as government's interest in achieving energy independence. Does this remind you of something? Were the first electric car concepts in the same situation before Tesla came in and showed everyone how it is done? Not only that, but I will continue sharing more and more interesting details on this topic in my future videos. You're probably familiar with fuel cell engines or hydrogen-based technology, but what you don't know yet is that providing subsidies for hydrogen vehicles and related infrastructure is critical for the expansion of the sustainable energy market. For example, in contrast with the US, Beijing has launched an aggressive initiative to introduce hydrogen-powered rental cars and public buses, and locally produced hydrogen buses and commercial vehicles are already in use. China aims to sell 1 million hydrogen-powered vehicles by 2030. Toyota and Hyundai have invested heavily in fuel cell vehicle technology since the 1990s and are looking to recoup their investments. However, their operating margins and net profit per vehicle sold are lower than those of electric-only competitors. This year, a rare opportunity has arisen for corporations and governments to work together to accelerate investment in hydrogen fuel vehicles. While creating a market for hydrogen fuel cars is a positive step, the focus must shift towards finding greener methods for producing hydrogen fuel if these vehicles are to become a viable and sustainable alternative to traditional gas cars. In recent years, Toyota has also been exploring other forms of electrification, including e-fuels. E-fuels are a climate-neutral alternative to gasoline and can be used to power internal combustion engines in non-electric vehicles. Toyota believes that e-fuels have the potential to provide a bridge to a low-carbon future until the widespread adoption of electric vehicles becomes a reality. Looking back at the past decade, it's clear that Toyota has been at the forefront of the electrification movement. The company was one of the first automakers to launch a hybrid vehicle, the Prius, which has since become one of the most popular hybrids on the road. Additionally, Toyota's investment in fuel cell technology has helped to advance this promising form of electrification and bring it closer to commercial viability. It's hard to believe, but automakers worldwide may be shifting their focus towards electric vehicles. But advocates of the combustion engine, like Toyota, argue that it could offer a more sustainable path for the transition from gas-powered cars. However, critics argue that automakers cannot afford to take such detours while trying to address the root causes of climate change. Other Japanese automakers such as Subaru and Toyota are exploring green energy sources to power their internal combustion engines. They have experimented with carbon-neutral fuel for racing by using biomass and other ingredients. Mazda, on the other hand, has utilized biodiesel made from used cooking oil and microalgae. Toyota has emphasized the need for the industry to explore other methods for decarbonization, in addition to electric vehicles. And that's just the beginning. We already know how German giants like Mercedes and BMW are showing off their F-Cell and Hydrogen Next systems, respectively. Despite the fact that hydrogen-powered vehicles emit only water vapor as a byproduct and seem like an eco-friendly solution, there's still room for improvement in terms of making the production of hydrogen fuel cell more environmentally friendly and cost-effective. Let me share with you a little-known fact about it. Presently, around 95% of all hydrogen fuel is derived from fossil fuels, primarily natural gas, which leads to the generation of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide during production. This offsets the reduction in exhaust pipe emissions from hydrogen cars. Moreover, in Asia, when the consumption of fossil fuels is high, such as 83% in China and 85% in Japan and South Korea, even battery electric cars may not be as green as anticipated. At this point, you might be wondering if hydrogen still has some potential or not in the US. As you may already know, Toyota is one of the few big car brands not letting go of the idea of hydrogen. 
compared to the hyped electric cars movement. Toyota is conducting trials with a cutting-edge hydrogen fuel cell powertrain in a Kenworth T680 semi-tractor. This innovative setup comprises six robust hydrogen tanks that have been armored to endure a 50 caliber bullet, which is positioned behind the driver's seat. These tanks generate electricity that is then utilized by the two fuel stacks to produce the power required to operate the vehicle. The fuel cell powered semi-tractor is also equipped with a four-speed automated manual transmission, providing the necessary shifting capabilities to ensure seamless performance. Hydrogen vehicles are not so popular. You will be lucky to see any hydrogen vehicle outside of California. However, the integration of the hydrogen fuel cell powertrain in the Kenworth T680 semi-tractor is part of Toyota's ongoing effort to develop and explore alternative energy solutions that can improve the efficiency and sustainability of transportation. With this trial, the automaker is also showcasing its expertise in developing innovative and safe solutions that can help reduce the dependence on conventional fuel sources and minimize the carbon footprint of commercial vehicles. The trial is expected to provide valuable insights into the performance and feasibility of the fuel cell powertrain and its potential to revolutionize the trucking industry. The fuel cell system is designed to offer a range of around 300 miles while pulling 80,000 pounds making it suitable for daily trips. According to Toyota, the hydrogen fuel cell powertrain is engineered to last as long as a traditional diesel engine, and refueling hydrogen is just as fast as gasoline. With these advantages, Toyota plans to put the system into production next year and sell it to its partners. Sustainable energy sources are not scarce. Elon Musk has said many times that if, for example, we built a solar energy infrastructure by now, California would not have a shortage of energy sources. On the other hand, we hear that the global market share of China's electric car sales has significantly increased, from 26% in 2015 to 57% in the previous year, resulting in a reduction of charging infrastructure, battery, and car prices. The proliferation of hydrogen-powered vehicles there can be attributed to several reasons. For instance, the latest Hyundai's Exeunt trucks and Toyota's Mirai models can cover a distance of more than 500 miles on a single charge and can be charged quickly in just a few minutes. Furthermore, as these vehicles can now be mass-produced, costs are decreasing, unlike the earlier models that were hand-assembled. Like electric cars, the fuel stack, the primary component of a fuel cell power system that generates electricity, is the most expensive part of hydrogen-powered vehicles, costing over $11,000 per car in earlier models. However, the expense has since been drastically reduced due to higher production volumes. Elon Musk hasn't said much about hydrogen fuel cells recently, but it all started to change when this happened. For over two decades, Toyota has been advancing its hydrogen fuel cell technology, with the current implementation being used in its Mirai sedan. The company is now collaborating with the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, a division of the U.S. Department of Energy, to construct, install, and assess a fuel cell power generator at NREL's Flatirons campus located in Arvada, Colorado. The generator will integrate multiple Toyota fuel cell modules, which have already proven to be successful, and will provide a clean energy source for a data center located at the campus. Toyota has designed the control system for the generator and states that it can function as a substitute for a traditional generator. Delivery of these generators will commence in the upcoming years.